evening while the rest of the nation watches washington has blown up into a caustic partisan fight and a showdown is coming over the power of the american president just tonight a house committee voted to hold president obama's attorney general eric holder in contempt of congress for refusing to turn over documents related to a badly botched sting operation involving guns and drugs in mexico called fast and furious this contempt vote comes after the Obama White House, for the first time, invoked executive privilege. Charges of stonewalling and cover-ups are flying, the kind of stuff we first learned during the Watergate era. And for those not following the complexities of all of it, it just looks like more of our broken politics and vicious fights now out in the open. We begin tonight with our Capitol Hill correspondent, Kelly O'Donnell, who was there to see all of it today. Kelly, good evening. Good evening, Brian. There were emotions and allegations of political motives flying today. House Republicans say they have been waiting for eight months to get documents from the attorney general, and only today the White House stepped in. A key committee took an important step toward sending a message to the Department of Justice. But our work is not complete. A rare and serious reprimand. 23 eyes, 17 no's. The eyes have it. Eric Holder could become the first attorney general ever held in contempt of Congress. The attorney general has refused to co cooperate. Five months before the election, a power struggle between the Obama administration and Congress. It shouldn't have come to this. Nobody likes doing this. It shouldn't be a political witch hunt against the attorney general of our country and our president in an election year. Today, the White House asserted executive privilege to shield documents from Congress. For more than a year, the House Oversight Committee has been investigating an operation known as Fast and Furious. Federal agents had allowed guns to cross into Mexico, intending to track them to cartels. But some of those U.S. weapons were found at the scene where Border Patrol agent Brian Terry was killed in 2010. I don't think uh, Agent Terry's family cares that it's an election year. I don't think the families of uh, over 200 slain Mexican citizens care that this is an election year. Operation Fast and Furious was ended by Attorney General Holder, who has testified and already provided thousands of documents. The conflict with Congress began because the Justice Department initially denied those gunwalking tactics had been used. I can give them this. That denial raised many questions about who had authorized the operation. Who knew about Fast and Furious? When did they know about it? And how high up did it go? The White House insists Holder has made extraordinary efforts to cooperate. The attorney general called the contempt citation a divisive election year tactic. Democrats defended Holder. For the past year, you've been holding the attorney general to an impossible standard. You accuse them of a cover-up for protecting documents that he was prohibited by law from producing. The White House noted today that presidents of both parties have used executive privilege to protect some of their internal conversations. House Republicans say there's still time to avoid this and negotiate a deal, but they still want what they call a narrow list of documents. Brian, if there is no breakthrough, Speaker Boehner says the full House of Representatives will vote next week to hold Attorney General Eric Holder in contempt of Congress. Brian? Kelly O'Donnell starting us off from Capitol Hill tonight. Kelly, thanks.